Hi guys, it's Allison from icepworld.com and I've got the Nixie Huntington G4 compact inflatable paddleboard here for a quick review. If you need a compact sup that is easy to transport, easy to carry, and easy to paddle, the Huntington absolutely delivers. I absolutely love a lightweight board, but you have to be careful because not all lightweight inflatable paddle boards are made the same. Some boards weigh less because they are only constructed with single layer material. What makes the Nixie Huntington stand out is that they use double layer fused construction, which is extremely durable and strong. It also includes carbon fiber reinforced side rails for added rigidity. When inflated to 15 PSI, it is extremely rigid and feels great to paddle on the water. Although this is a smaller sup at 9 feet 6 inches long, it is surprisingly stable with the wider 32 inch width. It tapers slightly at the nose but stays fairly wide right through to a slight taper at the tail, making it easier to paddle than other compact paddle boards. It can hold up to 250 pounds, but I would say it is best suited for those who weigh 200 pounds or less. I've had so much fun with the hunting tin. It's versatile enough to be used on lakes, calm rivers, or even in light surf. It handles brilliantly and turns on a dime. A smaller framed person will really appreciate how little effort it takes to paddle and power this board through the water. The Huntington comes in two options, the compact package and the ultra compact package. I have the compact package, which is what you are seeing in this review video. The difference between the two is that the board in the ultra compact package folds up a little differently to fit into a much smaller backpack that can be used to backpack into remote lakes or waterways or pack anywhere where a smaller backpack is more convenient. The compact package comes with the regular sized Nixie backpack with wheels. This package is just as lightweight, but can be pulled to and from the water or even through an airport with the durable backpack with integrated wheels. The regular Nixie backpack is awesome. It feels fairly large for me to carry on my back, but the padded shoulder strap, waist strap, and chest strap all help with support. It has ample pockets for storing all of the accessories and room for extras if needed. The side paddle holder and drain grommets are a nice bonus, and the three wheels make it extra easy to pull your board anywhere. Included on the Nixie Huntington are some really nice functional features. It has adjustable and removable nose and tail bungees for securing gear. There is a smaller bungee section at the nose and a larger bungee section at the tail. The center carry handle has a removable padded neoprene cover for added comfort when carrying the board. There is also a durable nose and tail grab handle that can be easily used to grab the board from the water or even pull the board from the water to the shore. One of the features that I particularly love is the four action mounts. With these action mounts, you can deck out your board with whichever accessories you need. Options you can find on the Nixie website include a cup holder, a camera holder, phone holder, action cam mount, navigation lights, uh, and even fishing rod holders. I use the cup holder and fold holder quite a bit. Love them. There is one action mount at the front of the nose, just past the bungees, one on either side of the deck pad, just behind the center of the board, and one at the tail as well. Even though this is a smaller size board, it has 14 D-rings that can be used for securing gear, including one on either side of the deck pad that is ideal for securing a kayak seat if you choose to. The Nixie logo embossed deck pad is soft, durable, and UV protected. It feels good whether you're standing or kneeling or just hanging out on the board. Setup is very simple. The other nice thing about a smaller ISUP is that it takes less time to inflate. It took me 6 minutes and 42 seconds to inflate the Huntington to 15 PSI with the included Typhoon G4 hand pump. This is a heavy duty hand pump that has three inflation stages so that it is easier to inflate the, to high pressures. The handles are removable and the foot pegs fold up so that it is more compact when storing in the backpack. The pump adds about 4.37 pounds to the package. Also worth noting, Nixie has an optional electric pump that works fantastic. It isn't any faster than hand pumping, but it sure saves you a lot of energy. The 9 inch center fin is removable and very easy to install by sliding it into the fin box and turning the attached screw until secure. With the fin attached, the Huntington tracks straight and performs great. You can remove the fin if you are paddling in very shallow water, but it will take more effort to keep paddling the boards in a straight line. You also get a three-piece carbon shaft sub-paddle in the package that is adjustable from 67 inches to 84 inches. 
The paddle is lightweight at 25 ounces, has a standard 90 square inch blade and feels great to use. The hybrid SUP leash has a part coiled, part straight cord that is ideal for paddleboarding. It secures to the back D-ring on your board and velcros comfortably around your ankle. Last but not least, the Nixie Huntington G4 also comes with a great two year warranty. Not everyone wants a smaller SUP, but for those who do, the Nixie Huntington is a super fun ride and if smaller, compact, versatile, easy to paddle and especially easy to carry and transport is what you need, then the Huntington is an excellent choice. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this review helpful, please click the thumbs up and subscribe for my latest paddleboard videos.